Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can add a pause and resume button for your video in Unity. So, there's an eye up in the corner. This is going to be how to play a video in Unity that also works in WebGL. We are going to be directly following that tutorial. So click the eye up in the corner for a quick tutorial on how to play a video in WebGL. And it'll work for non-WebGL stuff as well. So, let's hit play and see what we have. So the video just loops, and we want to be able to pause and resume whenever we want, so let's go and do it. So, double click on the vid player script, or whatever script you have that's responsible for playing videos. So this is a script, literally all it does is play the video in the start function, and this is how you play a video in WebGL by the way. So firstly, we need to make a private global variable for the vid player class, so we're going to do private video player video player. And this is just going to store a reference to our video player. Then in the play video function, we're going to remove this video player here. So now we are going to be using this video player variable instead of a local one we create here. Now we need to make a function. So underneath the play video function in our vid player class, we are going to do public void on video player clicked. This function is going to toggle the video between being paused and playing. So let's say we click the button when we're playing the video. That means we want to pause it. And when we click the button when the video is paused, that means we want to play it. Inside, we're going to do if video player. So this is referencing our video player object that we made up here. And we want to make sure it exists and the variable isn't equal to null because there's no point trying to pause or resume the video if it doesn't exist. Inside the if statement, we can then do if video player dot is plain, then we do video player dot pause, else video player dot play. So if the video is plain, that means we want to pause it. If the video player isn't plain, that means we want to play it. And that's it for the function we need to do, so be sure to save the code. Now you need to return to Unity. So in the canvas, we need to do right click, UI, then we're going to go to legacy, and then we're going to go to button. If you're in an older version of Unity, you just need to click on button, it won't be hidden behind a legacy button, it will just be here. And we're going to call it pause play. We're then going to edit the text to say pause slash play. Then we're going to go back to the button, we're going to set the width to 400 and the height to 60. We're then going to move it to kind of be in the bottom corner. We're going to set the color to be semi-transparent so it, we can still kind of see the video through it. We're gonna go back to our text. We're going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it properly. And then we're going to go back to the button. And on the on click, we're going to click a plus. We're then going to drag our video player object into it. The video player object, by the way, has our vid player script. We are then going to go to no function and we're going to go to vid player. And then we're going to do on video player clicked. And that's going to call the function we just made. So, with all of that, save your work and hit play. As you can see, we clicked it and the video is now paused. If we, cl if we click it again. You turn into a big time villain, doctor. As you can see, it's working just fine. So, thanks for being a great audience. You can easily modify this, by the way, to update the text or maybe change the image of your button if you so desire. However, I've shown you how you can pause and play a video. This will work in WebGL because we're playing the video using the streaming assets folder, so it works in WebGL. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials.